Welcome back to Sports Edge. Joining us tonight, Kamiko Williams, assistant basketball coach at the University of New Haven. Also was a player at the University of Tennessee uh, not too long ago. And, and some, some sad news uh, this mm -hmm. week in the sports mm -hmm. world as, as sports loss an icon. Pat uh, Summit, who you yeah. played for, um, passed away. And, and how have you how you've been handling it? Um, honestly, the first day I was very mopey. So I just kind of took the day to myself, didn't go to work, didn't really talk to anybody. I just kind of had reflection time. What was the first uh, Pat Summit memory that popped to your head? Her challenging me every day, nonstop. But um, it was against South Carolina. Uh, I was just breathing so heavy. I was so tired. I'm a freshman. I've never played so much. And um, she just sat me down and was like, you're either going to be a mental midget or a mental giant which one you pick. And then she said, go back in there. And I decided to be a giant that day. So she was proud of me. She, she had that, that steely <clears throat> eyed glare that we yes. talk about, which can be very intimidating. I the got first to glare a lot. You did? <laughs> Were you intimidated? Um, at first, my yeah. freshman year, absolutely. But then after that, I just knew it was like a, you need to get, your, you need to get together. But she, she was inside. She wanted mm -hmm. more out of you uh, than, than mm -hmm. basketball. The same expectations that she had on the court. It was the same in the classroom. It was the same when we talked to other people and how we are, how our character is. Um, I mean, it was even to the point I signed something one day and she's just like, I can't read that. It's not good enough. Try again. So <laughs> everything. She wanted to make sure we were well-rounded, very independent, and um, obviously graduate mm -hmm. with our degree. Um, whoop to Pat. We all graduated <laughs> with a degree while she was coaching. And she was going through this at a time when mm -hmm. women's basketball really, no one, it was kind of a novelty. No one really yeah, cared about it. Yeah. She was trying to be a mom. She had a lot of mm -hmm. things working against her. Mm -hmm. I surprise you she was able to kind of push through and become what she um, was. Listening to her talk about her family and her family dynamics growing up on the farm and how her dad pushed her um, actually kind of resembled my father. He pushed me like no other. I mean, my dad's military and hers was just a country guy that rolled hay for yeah. a living, but he was just really tough on her. Just knowing who she is and how her, her where her heart was and how her mind was, like sh she probably could have could be the first woman on the moon if she wanted to. I mean, yeah. nothing could stop her. How, how big was she? You know, we're here in Connecticut, so a lot of people know how big UConn is. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to utter the UConn words. It's all here. good. <laughs> I'm gonna let it live. Okay. All right. <laughs> and and Gina Oriama is a big figure mm -hmm. out here. Absolutely. Uh, how big is Pat Summit in Tennessee? <sighs> She is like the president of the United States to all the fans. A lot of us used to kid, oh, they don't come to see us, they come to see Pat. They're just, they love that lady. When, when you were recruited by her, that was what, 2008, eight nine somewhere mm -hmm. in that area? Mm -hmm. um, that was the Pat Summit everyone knew, but you were mm -hmm. also there when she was diagnosed yes, in yes, 2011 yes. with uh, early onset dementia, mm -hmm. uh, eventually Alzheimer's. What was that like? Little things just started happening, like, you know, she would, yell or, or say something and we be like, wait, what? That doesn't really make sense, but okay, you know, maybe she's just frustrated. My freshman year, if I had a question about anything dealing with basketball, I was like, Pat, what do I do here? If the screen's coming this way and, you know, we're driving to the lane, this and that, she's like, oh, you need to do X, Y, and Z. And then it became, so Pat, you know, this is happening, this is action that's going on, this is not. She's like, ah, uh, you know, let me, let me go ask. And, I, and we know she knows. It's right. just, you know, with the disease and everything, she might not be able to communicate it out. It just kind of hurts your heart when you're playing for something and for someone who means so much. But when you kind of look at her during the game, it's like she's kind of there, but she's not. We, our cause was just so much bigger than the game of basketball. And um, I think that's when the We Back Pad initiative came and all that other stuff. So um, something I'm a part of, I encourage you to be a part of that too. And everyone out there um, too. And everyone out there. We just had to love on her and just do the best that we could. As you embark on, on your coaching career, you spent mm -hmm. a little bit of time in the WNBA, and do you see any of Pat Summit coming out on you as you coach? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, sometimes I give my kids my version of the look, and they know exactly what it means. Can we can we see your Pat Summit steely eye glared or? Well, you know, mine I have a little. It's like, like, come on, really. Is that what you got for me? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you'll remember her as that, though. Uh, yeah. I, I assume yes, not yes, as yes. The, the person who couldn't understand the questions yeah, you're absolutely, asking. Absolutely, absolutely. Naturally, the, the good stuff is going to come to my mind when I think of Pat. Well, Kamiko, thanks for, for coming no in and sharing no your, your Pat Summit uh, mm -hmm. stories. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me.